Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So before I actually go into the content of this video, I want you guys to know that it's kind of going to be unorganized because I don't really edit anything. But essentially what this video is going to be is me doing my respec um, live on stream and I'm pretty much going to fuck up like 50 times. But if you guys have any questions, this will be like the perfect time to essentially follow up and kind of just go hand in hand with it. Alright, so... Uh, I want to go ahead and show you guys my leveling setup. If you're curious on it specifically, um, just go watch the YouTube video kind of associated with that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys a dried lake run really fast. Now, this is the exact setup I have, the same gear from the leveling video associated before. Just a quick rundown, Ink AoE, uh, Mini Nintotem Elemental Resistance, I swapped instead of Increased Burn Damage because it's a multiplier. I don't really know which one's better, it doesn't really matter. Righteous Fire, uh, Elemental Focus, Rapid Decay Spell Totem, nothing else matters at all. And then for Auras, I'm just running Purity of Elements and Purity of Fire. So this is an example of me running through Dried Lake. It's pretty smooth. Uh, it's still pretty sketchy. All you really need is a Granite Flask. I just did my Labyrinth though, so I kind of have all my flasks changed. Damage isn't too bad. Uh, like I said, it's definitely manageable. And I'm 75. I'd recommend waiting from like maybe 74 to like 78. Somewhere around there would be probably the most optimal time to level. Uh, or to switch anything else would be suboptimal or just simply unethical. So I would not recommend um, Switching prior to that you totally can if you want But I know people always ask me the questions of like excuse me, mr. Fox Kappa I have X and X amount of fire res with X and X amount of energy shield on the tree and my HP still goes down Why and I'm like, I don't know dude. I couldn't really tell you that just check out the video guides so there is a chance that this totally does not work at all, and I just fuck myself over, and I'll still upload it to YouTube anyway. Uh, but yeah, here's a quick Dried Lake run. As you can see, we finished the Dried Lake. Actually, I don't have any Portal Scrolls, so I guess I have to finish the Dried Lake run. That's awkward. Okay. Now, one thing to note as well is you don't actually need to use... Uh, or you do not need to kill Cruel or Merciless Lab to do this. Uh, oh, I mean, fuck, you do need to, but for leveling, you don't. So I actually just picked up Radiant Faith. I did my Cruel Lab at level 75. That's the most optimal way to do it. And then after that, I did my Merciless Lab. So just Time of Need, Radiant Faith, Unwavering Faith. If you're leveling some other way, get Player of Glory. Doesn't really matter. Um, these are your three required things. Anything else, you do whatever you want. All right, so let's go ahead and start the swap over. So I'm going to cover all of my gear and explain the price of each of them. Now, if the price of the gear happens to change, I'm sorry. There's really nothing I can do about it. But I'm trying to make cheap variants for you guys. And every time I make a budget build, it gets fucked. So this is a budget of a budget. And if it doesn't work, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best for you guys. So for the belt, I'm going to use a baited breath. If you don't have good resistances, use something like a crafted chain belt. So my, this Baited Breath you can find for 1 to 2 Chaos. Rise of the Phoenix is worth about 2 to 3 Chaos. Uh, it gives you plus 8 max fire res, so we're using Rise of the Phoenix. Let me just swap in some of this stuff here. What is this? Enduring Cry, Searing Bond, Stone Golem. I don't need that shit. Alright, so Rise of the Phoenix goes on. Weapon should be a Fearmal Edge. Um, a Fearmal Edge gives percentage energy crease. This you can find for a couple Chaos as well. Nothing really too expensive. Uh, moving on, Amulet, uh, which is definitely going to be an Eye of Cheula. Doesn't matter if it's um, if it's uh, uh, foiled or not. I don't even think it makes a difference. You can find this for about 10 Chaos, so I'm going to swap this on. Uh, furthermore, I'm going to go ahead and use Rainbow Strides. You can use Sintrek. Don't ask me why I'm using Rainbow Strides. I'm going to see if the maximum mana works out pretty well. I'm also trying to do a little bit of a spell block variant, and the reason why is uh, for Shaper, and that'll be for another video, so don't worry about that right now. So, boots are going in. Alright, next up, I'm going to go ahead and pop on my Solaris Lorica, which you can find for 1 Chaos. Uh, then I've got the glove swap as well. I crafted my gloves in a previous video. Gloves cost about a minimum of like 35 to 40 chaos because of the delirium craft itself. So the last thing to do is swap helmets and rings. Um, so I have this ring, which is my older ring. I don't exactly know how much this is. It probably run for maybe like 15, 20 chaos. You clearly do not need to use a ring like this. The reason why I chose this ring is it does not even have a, um, 
It does not even have a percentage energy shield uh, craft, which is one exalt. So I'm trying to stay on the cheaper side of items. Next up is going to be my Moku's Embrace, which I'm actually going to replace with a Purity of Fire. Um, you could use Discipline. This is Void Eye is literally worth one Chaos as well. So overall, with this gear combined here, this is under 100 Chaos um, that I've got. Go oh, actually, sorry, my helmet too. Uh, the helmet, I spent about 20 Chaos crafting. Uh, I explained how to do a helmet craft in another video. You can essentially use, I forgot which one it's called. Um, it's the Mana Reservation one. I think it's this one. You can use a Screaming Essence of Loathing to craft, I think it's called Loathing, I'm pretty sure. Just check with the video to uh, confirm it. But um, I did this to craft on my helmet to get the 3% Mana Reservation. And as you can see, the ES is really not that high. Um, but let's go ahead and pop it on. So that's all of the gear has been swapped into. So the next thing to do would be fill in the links. So I've got level 20 Blood Magic. Unfortunately, Blood Magic is going to be uh, a little bit. I don't know exactly how much they are, probably like 40C or so. Uh, so I'm going to put a Blood Magic in with a level 2 Enlighten. And yeah, for the people who are saying 100 Chaos cheap WTF, this is a low life character. Low life characters are not meant to be cheap unless you're a summoner. So, you know, if you don't really understand the game, wouldn't really recommend playing this character right away. Uh, all right, let's use a... I'm supposed to use my Discipline. And pretty much anything can go right in here. I'm just going to go ahead and put Vitality in for right now. Okay. Purity of Fire, I'm going to put inside my Void Eye. Just to get started. Let's put Increased AoE. Don't need Minion and Totem Elemental Resistance. Righteous Fire. Don't need Rapid Decay. Don't need Spell Totem. So Elemental Focus. So that gets that set up. Next up would be the rest of my Purity. So Purity of Lightning will go here. Uh, I think I have a Purity of Ice that can sit right here. And then Manual Curse Flammability will chill right here. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and respec the Passive Tree. So I have 20 respec points and I used a couple of them. I think you could get much more than this actually by doing uh, your full on respec points, probably like 28 or so. But let's see how many regrets I end up using. Now, if you're leveling as an RF totem character, your tree probably looks very similar to mine. Maybe you, you changed three or four nodes on the tree, but for the most part, it, it should look pretty similar. So let's go ahead and start the swap. So we don't need life. We don't need totem nodes. We don't need life. We do not need totem nodes. We don't need life. We don't need totem nodes. So let's apply that and see how it works. So instead, let's go ahead and pick up everything in Sovereignty. I'm going to have to pick up... Actually, I'm going to need a lot more regrets than this, so well. I'm going to need to pick up Influence. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and pick up... Where is it? Uh, let me actually let me start using some regrets. Let me use 10 more regrets. I don't need this Ellie damage here at all. I'm supposed to come through this way. What the fuck did I just allocate? Oh, I just reallocated a point I didn't mean to allocate. Okay, refund one, two. I don't think I'll need this Dex node, but let's wait on it. I also did not pick up Arsonist early on. Okay. I need leadership, so that's good. Uh, I also need, let's see, I didn't pick up here yet. So this part looks okay. Uh, I think I'm going to get this jewel, but let me see. I actually have this written down right here. I should probably compare trees, but oh well. So I'm going to go ahead and just look from down here. Uh, let me just follow the tree outline. That looks good. So this jewel is actually going to be swapped with my healthy mind jewels that I'm going to be testing out. Now, on my tree, I actually did pick up... I actually didn't pick up combat stamina, which is bad because I think I need combat stamina. Let's see. I don't need this. Uh, I don't actually need this node. This one picks up Faith and Steel, which is really efficient. But I'm kind of concerned because I think I'm going to need combat stamina. Okay. Looks good. Uh, we're going to need Zealot's Oath, so let's spec into Zealot's Oath. Um, this one is going to be a healthy mind as well. So let's replace that for a healthy mind. Let's travel up the tree. 
Uh, on my tree, I end up picking up Unnatural Calm, which is also really good, but I, I feel like I'm going to need Combat Stamina, so I'm just going to wait before I pick that up, just to make sure. Uh, let's move down, follow in through. Let's go into Shaper for the Life Regen. Well, the ES Regen, actually. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, and this jewel would just be any generic jewel. You don't actually need it for anything. Um, it's just a stat jewel, which I actually don't even know if I have a jewel for, specifically. Uh, move across. This is good. Uh, this should also be a healthy mind. So we're up to 2400 mana right now. Looks like we're also going to pick up the three point arcane focus. Two, three. Now these are also extremely efficient nodes. So one, two, three, four. What else did I respec on my character? Looks like I'm missing something though because. Uh, I have too many notes somewhere here because I don't have a natural calm at all. What did I pick up? What did I pick up to not have a natural calm? I don't know where it is. I picked up something. I have health and energy shield. Is it written in blood? Oh yeah, that's right. I do have written in blood. One, two, three, four, five. And a dex note. Okay, I see then. That makes sense. So then... Let me go ahead and respec this one. No, you don't need elemental overload at the start. One, two, three, four, and let's pull out of the dex note. Alright, so now that that has all been allocated... Uh, as you can see, we have a ton of energy shield on our character. So let's see how much ES we have before I do anything. So discipline puts me to 4k. I'm feeling feeling ready to fight some mobs already. Uh, let's put on purity puts us to 5k. Purity of fire puts us to 5.5k. Purity of ice puts us to 5, well, 6k. Uh, looks like we need vitality on. Uh, so we're sitting at 6k ES right now. I feel like I should have something else here. Can I run an Arctic Armor? I think I can run an Arctic Armor, actually. Let me see this. Where's my Arctic Armor? I think I might have zero... Um, what is it? I might have zero reservation left. No, the reason... For the people saying clarity, let me teach you guys a lesson. Your clarity is not going to reserve 460 mana. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Kids need to get educated. Alright, so I can... Technically, we could use this setup because uh, we have... Um, we reserve all of our mana. So this technically is the most optimal setup, but then I can't use shield charge. Um, so yeah, this kind of gets fucked because of the helmet craft that I'm using. But you can also just use like a level 20 clarity... Uh, and that would actually, that would suffice too. So take your pick on the Arctic Armor versus the Clarity. So now, we can also go into Unnatural Calm. But before we go into Unnatural Calm, let's go ahead and see if we can run our Righteous Fire without dying. Righteous Fire, turn on. Alright, I don't degen. I don't degen whatsoever on my character. We're sitting on 89 Fire Res. Um, I think if this Purity was actually one level higher, I'd be technically even higher on the Resistance. But just for, for keepers, a level 17 Purity of Fire inside of Void Eye does actually work for running this character. Uh, so that means I'm going to go ahead and pick up on Natural Calm. And we're at 6.7k, which is actually very good. And for some reason, oh, Lightning Res went up. Yep, that's fine. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, I don't actually have my flasks up right now, so that's kind of something I'm a little scared of, so... Let's just check to see how much damage it does. I'm not cold res capped. Oh yeah, I have 7 cold res. Let me actually make sure. Let me go look at my resistance. That's kind of an important thing. I am... No, I basically... I have... I need like a little bit of cold res. That's not that much of an issue. That's what the jewels are for. So... Speaking of which... I was actually thinking I'm supposed to get this jewel, but I didn't pick up this jewel. So it's okay. One, one jewel with cold resist actually caps me, so... And that's perfect because that jewel spot is right here. So I'm not concerned about that whatsoever. 
Uh, let me just get a Witchfire Brew, which, by the way, a Witchfire Brew is going to be really expensive. It's like 30 Chaos. Go Aura Gem Swap. Oh, yeah, I could I could swap in, like, Ink AoE and stuff. That's another option as well. People can kind of play around with however they like with a character. It's not going to make that much of a difference. Let me just use a random jewel in here for now as well. That's in my inventory. Oh, look, it's right here. All right, so we're going to go run Dried Lake with some Life Flasks. It's uh, very good that we run some Life Flasks. Now, the only thing that's going to suck is I can't apply Elemental Equilibrium. So let me actually fix one thing. Let me just put in Conk Effect. And then remove Arctic Armor. And then run Purity of Lightning with Conk Effect. Does that work? Or is it too much? Tell me it's going to work. It's not going to work. It's too much. Uh, Alright, fuck it. I'm just running Arctic Armor. Alright, let's do it. Wait, did I just... What happened to my Arctic Armor? Did I remove it? I'm stupid. Oh, wait, that's right. I need Purity of Lightning. Just kidding. Purity of Lightning. Not enough mana. There we go. And let's turn on Righteous Fire. All right. So this is actually good enough to farm Dried Lake, like no problem. I don't really regen ES very fast, but again, combat stamina would help out a lot with that. So this works out pretty well. Just as an example, this is no Elemental Equilibrium either. Elemental Equilibrium would be quite a big bonus. But yeah, if you guys want to make a 150 Chaos budget Dried Lake Farmer, um, this is pretty much your build. And of course, as you scale this character, it will get stronger and stronger and stronger. And by simply just putting in Shield Charge, uh, you would also get substantially stronger as well. As for the character listing, like I said, uh, 89 Fire Res, 80 Lightning Res. This can be much higher with just slight, slight tweaks and whatnot. Because um, I'm not running Fortify right now. I've got 4k armor as well. Uh, but the build works for, like I said, this is this is pretty much the... <gasps> Why did I turn off? I, I got scared. I pressed I pressed Q and my vitality turned off. I'm scared, mommy. I'm logging out. Okay, I don't have any portal scrolls on me. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, the character. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Um, and just to go over the gear one more time with what I'm using, I'm going to go over a quick rundown. A Fearmal Edge, Void Eye, uh, Essence Crafted Gloves, Baited Breath, which can be swapped for pretty much whatever you want, Rainbow Strides, or you can use Sintrek, or pretty much whatever you want, Solaris Lorica until you get a Shavs, um, some random ring to cover your deck slash, of eight, or deck slash attribute requirements, Eye of Cheyula until Presence of Cheyula, Rise of the Phoenix until you can get a Crafted Shield, Essence Crafted Helmet, preferably like 250 plus ES, uh, make sure you use reduced mana reservation so you can get away with a 20 blood magic and a level 2 enlighten. Anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I will post this tree that I'm currently running right now in the comments down below. Uh, remember, the other thing is to use the mind over matter with uh, healthy mind jewels as well. The last spot to put the healthy mind jewel would be right here. So that would turn devotion into basically 16% mana along with the 12% mana which will be pretty good so that's 28%. Like I said, hope you guys have a wonderful time and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care everybody.